Hello everybody, I'm Mrs. Mathur and welcome to the Culinary Arts Room. Today we're going to talk about measurements. So measurements in the kitchen are very important. They're most important when you're baking something. If you want fabulous results, you must measure each and every time when you're baking. When you're a beginner cook, it's also important for you to measure all the time, especially when you're trying the recipe the first few times. As you get more experience, of course, you don't have to measure everything all the time. You can eyeball a lot of things. Uh, but as a beginner chef in this class, I hope that you're going to practice your measurement skills, whether it's a baking recipe or any other recipe. Now, there are different tools we have in the kitchen that help you measure ingredients correctly. And you're going to learn about some of those today. Let me show you the three kinds of measuring tools we have in the kitchen. This is what is called a liquid measuring cup. See, it has a spout and a handle, and it's made of glass or sometimes plastic. These are called dry measuring cups. You use them to measure everything that is dry that you have to measure in larger quantities. And then this is a set of measuring spoons. You use them to measure liquid as well as dry ingredients that you need to measure in small quantities. Now, let me show you how to measure a liquid correctly. If you want to measure a liquid correctly, Please make sure that you keep the measuring cup on a flat surface and you bend down and check at eye level when you pour something in it because your perception if you're looking up from up top may not be right. So if you want to get accurate measurements, you put it at eye level, you pour it to the level where you want it to be. Right now I want about a half cup of milk. So to get the exact half cup, I have to bend down and check at eye level. I see that it is a half cup. So this is accurate. If I may get some extra in there, please don't pour it uh, down the drain in the sink. Pour it in an extra container so that someone else can use it. So this is how you measure the liquid ingredients. When you're ready to measure some dry ingredients, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a spatula with a flat end or you can use the blunt end of a knife as well. Say if you need to measure a half cup of sugar, you scoop up a little extra sugar. Okay. You don't shake it up like this, because otherwise you're gonna condense it. You just go in there, first fluff it up a little, scoop up a little bit extra, and then scrape off the excess amount, okay? Once again, fluff it up a little, especially when you're measuring flour, scoop up a little extra, and scrape. When you're measuring dry, when you're measuring small quantities, for example, if you want to measure a teaspoon of vanilla, you t measure it over a bowl, take the spoon so that if you have any excess, it falls into the bowl and someone else can, can use it. So you go like this, and this is how you measure one teaspoon of vanilla. Then you can use it for whichever recipe you want to. Some recipes require you to measure brown sugar, and there's a special way of doing it. When you're measuring brown sugar, that's one of those ingredients you don't have to fluff. You have to actually pack it down. So, say if I have to measure a one-fourth cup of brown sugar, I scoop up the brown sugar, I use my hands to kind of pack it down, like that, and then see if I, it needs more. So I take a little more, make sure we get it at the level where you want it to be, scrape off the excess just the way you did for the other dry measurements and this would be an accurate amount so for brown sugar you have to pack for all the ingredients you just take a little extra and scrape it off so when you measure the brown sugar when you take it out it should actually almost stand like a sand castle so see how this is standing like a sand castle this is how you measure brown sugar to measure butter, it is best for you to follow the stick method. There are markings on the stick for a teaspoon and tablespoon. Use that to get the right amount of butter for your recipe. Oh well, I woke up this morning and I forgot how to measure ingredients. So will you all help me and tell me if I'm doing something wrong? I need a cup of flour to make my pancakes. So I'm going to take my measuring cup and take a cup of flour. That's a cup of flour. Is that right? I need a half cup of oil. So here we are. That's a 
that's a half cup, right? 